My newest favorite saying is, conservation starts with conversation. In my 46 years here, I have seen this river decline. The people in Grand County were concerned about that. So we went to Denver Water and started a conversation. Right here, I am cutting, harvesting willow stakes. Uh, we're harvesting 4,000 of these today. And in two weeks, we're gonna plant them on the banks of the Fraser River. This section of river, almost nine tenths of a mile, was heavily grazed for decades. This is gonna help the Fraser River. So that's why we're here. It's called the Fraser Flats River Habitat Improvement Project. It is the first project that Learning by Doing is undertaking, so it's our pilot project. So the goals of the Fraser Flats project are to improve the aquatic conditions in the river, the riparian habitat along the banks of the river, and just improve overall the ecosystem as a whole. We are working together to heal the rivers, and today is one of the best days of my life because we came together and we started that healing. Denver Water is committed uh, nearly $4 million to help fund uh, similar on-the-ground projects to improve water quality and uh, watershed health in Grand County and throughout the state. Once the federal permitting process is completed for the Gross Reservoir Expansion Project, this money will be released and projects similar to this one will move forward. Denver Water became partners with us to make these streams healthier. So this adaptive management group consisting of seven entities calls itself learning by doing because we're trying to do something that's never been done before. What we're doing here today is progress in a very positive direction. Weather is a little crummy, but I see some blue skies behind us. Why am I out here? Yeah. I just love the Fraser. We put them into buckets of water and then they sat for two weeks and got the idea that they should probably start growing some roots. And then now we're just driving them into holes right now. There we go. They'll put roots down that help stabilize the stream bank. This stretch of river gets very warm in the summer. They'll also grow up tall <laughs> to provide shade for the river. Temperature is one of the greatest forms of pollution that we have up here in these high altitude streams. Streams that never saw temperature problems before are now seeing temperatures warm enough to kill trout. We hope to see some budding out within the next month. We're pleased to be a part of projects like this one that are going to have uh, that net environmental benefit um, on our state. When the West Slope gains a healthy river and the Front Range maintains a water supply, what we have is one Colorado. And that's what this collaborative effort with the Front Range and West Slope is all about. I can't wait to see what happens. I really hope in you know five to ten years that there's a bunch of willows and some cottonwoods established on the Fraser River and we see uh, cooler temperatures in the Fraser and better habitat for the fish and the bugs. Now I've got my community and the Front Range community all standing behind making these rivers healthier. There can't be a better feeling. We need to leave a healthy Fraser River for our children and our grandchildren, and someday we're going to be looking at a healthy aquatic habitat throughout the entire reach of the Fraser River. We've come so far. We have such a good community. This was a grassroots effort. We started behind the eight ball with an unwilling partner on the Front Range who had the law on their side, and we now have a willing partner and communities on both sides of the divide showing up to help heal the river. One of the most amazing parts of this project is that we had over 150 volunteers sign up for three volunteer days. And those volunteers came as far away as Greeley and as locally as right down the street here in Tabernash. Yeah, overall, with the planning and the execution of this project, we've probably put in over a thousand hours of work. And that's been really amazing to see everyone come together and get their hands uh, wet in the Fraser. If everybody continues to give us support in the future that they've given us in the past, we will heal this river.